So here we are. We've got President Putin re-elected with a massive majority. And, uh, you know, we've seen uh, Georgia, we've seen Ukraine, we've seen Crimea uh, and many people, many people in Central Europe worried what's next. Is it Moldova? Could it be Poland? We've got what's going on in Gaza, uh, the increasing uh, really, I, I, I suppose, dangerous, perhaps even violent behaviour coming from Iran. And kind of, I don't know, it's almost as if our domestic populations think, well, it's a long way away from us. None of it ever affects us. Take him a long view. How dangerous a place do you think the world's in right now? Yeah, I, I think it's the most dangerous since the 1930s. We had a Jacksonian policy under Trump. Uh, it wasn't nation building, but it, and it wasn't optional or uh, unnecessary interventions, but it was no better, uh, no better friend, no worse enemy. In other words, we took out Soleimani, we destroyed ISIS, we were tough on Iran. Putin knew that he shouldn't go in anywhere. It was the only administration of the last four that he did not cross an international borders to attack a neighbor. He did that during Bush, he did that during Obama, he did that during Biden. But now we've got the idea that either we should cede authority to international groups uh, in non-military context, the WHO or the International Criminal Court or the UN, or more importantly, we have this uh, Obama relic that in the Middle East, Iran, uh, Tehran, I should say, Beirut, Damascus, Hamas, Gaza, they all form an arc that's a necessary balance to the, the Gulf sheikdoms, the moderate Arabs in Israel. And that creative tension then allows us to withdraw and every once in a while intervene. And that means we're really subsidizing Iran and its terrorist appendages. But generally, it's a sense of deterrence is lost and countries think they can make the necessary adjustments in their national interests that are mostly illiberal and autocratic at the expense of the free world, and there's no, there's no, not going to be any repercussions. In the last three years, they're largely right in that assumption.